Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome to this video. It's now Thursday the 28th of March, March right now, let's catch my breath right here. It's now been one year ago since Paul O'Grady passing, uh, passed away last year. I just come back from the gym about, just started about 12 o'clock until 10 minutes past one. So yeah, I get the Tesco's and the Radio Times, especially as well. They've got two special programs for uh, um, a part of um, part of um, Paul O'Grady's life, and especially what what enjoy it as well. Um, so that's what's going to be happening uh, tomorrow on Good Friday. Tomorrow's Good Friday. Now we're going to end starting to Easter holidays. Speaking of that, Happy Easter, by the way, from from this from this weekend. Right here, Radio Times. We got um, right here. Just thought after this video, I'm about to wash my clothes before because I'm at to pack my because I'm getting my bags packed for obviously now until Easter Sunday. So that's what it is. I'm going to drink on that one because I'm thirsty. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's countdown. Yeah, but also now into Thursday. Tomorrow is Good Friday, so that's what's going to be happening on Good Friday tomorrow because. As you can tell by, well, as you can tell by the, um, you know, thing right here, I'll go check out those, um, thing, and also there's a new, um, um, shelves I'm going to be showing you. So, that's coming up very soon. Throughout the current industry, there's this one, especially with Ghostbusters Afterlife, after this, before watching this, that's. What it is, it's called The Life of Death of Lily Savage, which is uh, a tribute to the one of the iconic legends, national treasure, ardent lo animal lover, and professional chatterbox, which is fantastic. This is the story of Paul through the prism of his famous creation, Lily Savage, which is so incredible, especially on that one. I was got to tell about that's my new, real, new shells, by the way. Things get a bit, de or get decorated somehow somehow in uh, what it is so i've got i've got the swell right here that's really cool i'm sweating after the to the gym i'm spitting sweaty work at the gym right here the great of all the great great elephants and ventures i'm going to show this on video times which is on sunday which is it which means it's Easter, Easter Sunday, which is Easter Day, and right here, this town, right here, Polo Great, Great Elephant Adventures, right here, that's, here we are right here, that's the schedule here, and, and that's going to say right here, because, I'm going to read this, it is, before I get the washing on, and it is, this one is called Paul O'Grady's Great Elephant Adventure. In his last TV project, recorded before his death in March last year, the, the comic legend for Thailand and Laos to lead a hand at rescue among uh, among well cent rescue centers had a rescue centers carrying the Asian elephants, which are among this the world most endangered animals. He begins his adventure at Thailand's biggest elephant sanctuary, where, where most residents are over 65 years and helps the jungle OAPS with their assort, ass, assorted ashes and pains, which is like that as well. I'm looking forward to that as at eight o'clock on Easter Sunday. That'll be an Easter day. And then after what's called Passager as well, which is, that just continued, well, already continued, so that's cool, what it is. And after ITV News, and a regional, what do you call it, at 8.15, our last 
appearance of on the screen because this is the last time we're going to see Paul O'Grady at 15 minutes past 10 at night, 10 minutes, 15 minutes past 10 on New Easter day, Easter Easter night. The Paul O'Grady, the life and death of Lily Savage, like the marks, the end of on screen legend will be repeated on Easter Sunday night. A feature left tribute to the late Paul O'Grady through the prism of his ache, acid tongued alter ego, featuring contribu contributors from his famous friend and fans, including Ian McKillen and Joe Brand, which is incredible, especially after his premiership rugby highlight, especially Shop, shop on TV. That's well, it's going to be ending for the night before heading to Easter Monday. It's going to be it's going to be a new week. When the clock's going forward at uh, about two a.m. about two a.m. in the morning, so that's going to be approaching. That will be approached. We we'll get some bit of, a bit of um, short sleep. So that's what's been called a day for it. This is going to be the end of this um, cold weather. Uh, as we're now we go to the warm one, so I don't need this um, right there after we call it. And by the way, this after we get getting back to this one uh, on Easter Sunday, we're probably in the afternoon, so we're getting what to prepare for it as well. And I think I'm looking forward to see what's going on. I'll be watching with Nana, so well, I might I might be busy at the time. So about nine o'clock, probably nine o'clock, he'll be will be what me and Nana will be watching this and. Yeah, that's tomorrow. Um, this is a tribute to Paul Grady. If you don't know Paul Grady, he's like a he's from Birkenhead in Liverpool, lived in Kent before the time of death, which is it. It was so shocking, especially Chris Moyles, Chris Moyles from the Chris Moyles show on Radio X paid tribute as well, um, especially from Royal Paul's Drag Race. What does she call it? Paid tribute as well. Um, uh, I don't know what. What the other one's called? Oh, Alan Carr. I forgot to say Alan Carr. Junior and Clary. I heard I saw what went to the pantomime last year with my mum. And Paul O'Grady, that Junior and Clary paid tribute to Paul O'Grady during, during, the, the, pant during the performance of the panto did last year called uh, Peter Pan at the London Palladium. It's just so smooth, so heartbreaking, heart tribute legend. But that's cool. He's been on um in the London Pan in the London Palladium for the Panto. He's been doing it in the Panto, especially um his friend from Liverpool. I don't know who his he name he was named as I forgot to tell I forgot who his name is, I forgot since last year. Um he is his best friend. he is his best friend. And also Melkin Print Melkin Prince as well. They probably know it as well. Um uh, I don't know what no words to say because um there are no words to say. So that's what it is. Um so where's the uh, oh here we are. This Peter Pan right here. I've got Peter Pan and I show like a bit of Polo Grey um tribute right there. If we can't find it anywhere. Well we're gonna wanna see it before we finish wrap off this video and to before we preparing for Good Friday. I'll be watching, that'll be a good one, especially there could be a sad times as well. There's going to be good, there's going to be funny times at the, at the end. There's going to be sad times, so that's what you call it. We've got, right here, Paul at the Palladium, right here. Here we are, Paul at the Palladium. <sighs> Turn over here. Paul at the Palladium, right here. Here comes the angle, right here. That's cool. That's pretty nice. That here, there, with Michael Harrison with it as well. That's cool. And that's 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 the one. That's from the the souvenir pro. That's the pro that's the souvenir program for last year. Uh, of of last year's panto. I hope there could be another panto this year. So that's gonna be it's exciting though. More tributes on the way. That's that's just could be good as well. I'm also going to see Paul Julian Clary coming up this spring. That's in you know, London Palladium, the same thing in the Panto. So, looking forward to that one. So, so hope you guys enjoy it, guys. Take care. Have a good day. Um, enjoy, 
enjoy enjoy the one year spirit of Paul the Great's life and uh um I may sure I'll do feedback so that's really cool. Thanks for watching, take care, have a good day and goodbye.